So I want to give you guys a profile of the most corporate of the corporate Democrats uh, and then show you what we're going to do to defeat him. So this is Representative Joe Crowley. He's a representative from New York. He's been in office since 1999. Uh, there was one district switch there. He was representing a different district. Now he's representing a new district. Happened fairly recently. Uh, and he's a very, very powerful Democrat, one of the most powerful Democrats in the country, one of the top Democrats. He's fourth in line to lead the party. Now, uh, he keeps a low profile, though, so you might not, you know, know much about him. Well, there may be a reason why he's keeping a low profile, and let me walk you through it. So, he's the former chair of the centrist New Democrats. Now, New Democrats, that's, you know, Bill Clinton's triangulation Democrats. Those are the Democrats who are neoliberals who said, hmm, what should we do in order to, to be more successful as a party and put party above country? Let's take corporate money. Let's take corporate money and then pretend like we're reasonable centrists and do the bidding of corporations and say, what? We're above the fray and sometimes we agree with Republicans, sometimes we agree with Democrats. Vote for us. Uh, well, that philosophy has led the Democratic Party to ruins. Now, Donald Trump is president. Republicans control the Senate, the House, most state legislatures, and most governorships. So, the proof's in the pudding, and your philosophy, the, the dominant model of Democrat from the 1980s and onward, has decimated us. And he's one of the top Democrats in the country, and he was... The former chair of the new Democrats, the centrists, the corporatists. On that alone, we're going, okay, strike one, you're out, but let's continue. He voted to ban flag burning. Because apparently he doesn't know anything about the First Amendment and freedom of speech and free expression, and he's a clown. He voted for uh, free trade deals with Peru and Singapore. Let me rephrase that. He voted to outsource good American jobs to foreign countries at the behest of his corporate overlords. Uh, he voted yes on the Export-Import Bank, giving $25 billion to them. The Export-Import Bank, another way to discuss that is corporate welfare. He voted for $25 billion in corporate welfare. Um, he voted for use of force in Libya. Here we go. The, uh, the centrist Democrats, turns out they agree a lot with the neocons now, don't they? They love intervention. They love war. Uh, by the way, he also voted for the Iraq War. We could do a whole segment on that alone, with how unforgivable that is. He voted for Graham-Leach-Bliley, which is an act that repealed Glass-Steagall. One of the Democrats who voted to repeal Glass-Steagall so, uh, you can thank Joe Crowley, Representative Crowley, for bringing us, helping bring us, the subprime mortgage crisis and the Great Recession. Again, all to be subservient to his corporate overlord donors. Uh, he also voted to roll back provisions of Dodd-Frank, specifically the Volcker, Volcker rule. I have a hard time saying that. Do you guys too? Volcker. Volcker. Volcker rule. Uh, the Volcker rule makes it so that you have to have the financial industry make decisions that actually help their clients. <laughs> they go, no, that's radical. We need to allow them to screw over their clients. This guy gutted that. Uh, he was also investigated by the ethics office in 2009 because uh, he left while the White House was debating a bill about how to regulate Wall Street to do a series of Wall Street fundraisers. And then he came back and voted with Wall Street on the bill. Uh, so, let me give you a little excerpt from the New York Times about this. They say, quote, One of the lawmakers under investigation, Representative Joe Crowley, a New York Democrat who sits on the Ways and Means Committee, left the Capitol during the House debate to attend a fundraising event for him hosted by a lobbyist at her nearby Capitol Hill townhouse that featured financial firms along with their, don their other donors. Uh, after collecting thousands of dollars in checks, Mr. Crowley returned to the floor of the House just in time to vote against a series of amendments that would have imposed tougher restrictions on Wall Street. During the voting process and the debate process, he's like, I'm going to go raise money from Wall Street, and I'm going to come back here and vote in favor of Wall Street. You can't get any more corporate than that. This guy is a sellout among sellouts. 
What a clown he is. He doesn't care about his constituents. He doesn't care about his voters. He cares about his donors. He's taken $71,000 from real estate PACs. He's taken $167,000 from securities and investment PACs. He's taken $255,000 from insurance companies, uh, $85,000 from banks, and $105,000 from Big Pharma. This guy is... He's as bad as it gets for the corporate Democrats. But guess what? Yet again, Justice Democrats has the solution. Let me introduce you to Alexandria Ocasio. Uh, she worked for Bernie Sanders' campaign in the Bronx, worked very hard for him, traveled to Standing Rock during the standoff that was happening there. Why? Because she actually cares about the issues and she cares about the people. She studied economics and international uh, relations. She's taking no corporate money, no PAC money. This is, to be a Justice Democrat, you ha that's a requirement. You can't be a Justice Democrat if you're taking corporate and PAC money. She's taking no corporate money, no PAC money, and... Uh, she's for a new New Deal. She's gonna push that. She's gonna push for ending private prisons, end the drug war. How many, how many lives have been ruined because of private prisons? Where they try to find new, lobbyists try to find new ways to lock people up because they make more money the more people are locked up. She's gonna fight on these issues. She's also gonna fight for free college. She's right there on Medicare for All. She's right there on re-regulating Wall Street. Every area where Representative Crowley has failed you and sold out, she's going to be there to fix it. She's going to be there to vote the right way because she's only beholden to her voters. She's not beholden to her donors because, well, actually, you know what? That's not true. She is beholden to her donors because her donors are you. So that's, that's the big defining difference between a corporate Democrat and a justice Democrat. Corporate Democrats take corporate and PAC money, and they represent them. Justice Democrats take individual donations from the people, and then they represent the people. So, again, this is why we need you, and we need you to get involved. Go to justicedemocrats.com, sign your name in support of the movement if you haven't yet. The more names that are there, the more people who say, I am a Justice Democrat, the more powerful we become. You can see... The infrastructure work is there. The candidates are there. We're going full steam ahead, full court press. We're going after it. But again, we need you. Go to justicedemocrats.com. Donate. If you donate, it helps Paula Swearingen, who's primarying Joe Manchin. Um, it helps Cori Bush, who's taking down corporate Democrat Lacey Clay. Uh, and it helps us in this race to bring down Joe Crowley. So, again, now there's no excuse because the problem has been for the longest time, well, look, progressive, liberal, it's not on the ballot. What am I going to do? There's corporate Democrat and far right wing crazy person. What am I going to do? I don't like either one of them. Uh, so we're caught between a rock and a hard place. But now there's no excuse anymore. There's no excuse. Now you have progressive, liberal, Bernie Sanders wing of the party on the ballot, and we're giving you the option all across the country. So come join our political revolution. You know exactly what we stand for. If you don't, again, go read our platform, man. Go read our platform. I was the primary author of that platform, and I'm... It's one of the proudest things I've ever done. So, come on, let's do it. Let's get involved. Let's fight for the issues that matter. Um, let's donate time, energy, money, everything to try to make it so that we get real liberals and progressives in there who represent the people and not the corporations.